welcome to Naples Botanical Garden, where plants and people thrive together. We first opened our gates in 2009 and now see approximately 270,000 in-person visitors a year. As you first set foot into the garden, you'll get a sense that something special is happening following the tree-lined boardwalk, taking in water features, palms, vines, air plants, and flowering trees, you're transported to the tropics. The boardwalk leads past ticketing to the Smith Entry Prow, where you can enjoy the first of our many vistas. Here, guests can stop by the information booth and maybe join an educator-led daily tour. The garden celebrates the plants and cultures from four distinct tropical regions. First on our visit is the Capnic Brazilian Garden. A path winds through green lanes of bromeliads, aeroids, palms, and the perpetual showstopper, Seba. On the elevated plateau resides one of our most striking art pieces, a mosaic by renowned landscape architect and designer, Roberto Burley Marx. The Catnick Caribbean Garden is home to many of our 1,500 palms, featuring several unique and endangered species. Many fruiting trees and plants synonymous with the tropics thrive in this area. This trellis is almost always enveloped in purple with queen's wreath and clock vine blooms A bridge leads away from the Caribbean Garden crossing the Smith River of Grass. This space looks and functions like the Everglades, echoing wild Florida. The Scott Florida Garden is situated at the highest point on our property, allowing guests to simultaneously experience a designed interpretation of Florida and its untouched wilderness. Wildflowers cascade along the waterfall, Flowering trees provide bursts of color and palm trees tower over the landscape. Nearby is the Bueller Family Foundation Enabling Garden. This is a space designed for learning and doing where guests of many different abilities can get hands-on with nature. The Evanstead Horticulture Campus opened in early 2024, marking the next stage of the garden's evolution as a regional conservation leader. Various projects will continue to grow from this space, including our seed banks and research on buffering Southwest Florida's coastlines from storm impact. Separate from the cultivated areas is the preserve. These natural areas span 90 acres of restored Florida wilderness accessible to guests via a series of trails. The preserve is also home to the Sone Family Ghost Orchid Boardwalk, where you just might see the elusive ghost orchid in bloom. Birders flock to the White Birding Tower to monitor dozens of species of native and migratory birds. The Foster Succulent Garden is an arid landscape design featuring fantastical cacti and succulents. This garden recently expanded to twice its original size, an example of how we continue to grow. 
The Lee Asian Garden is a romantic nod to Southeast Asia. Ginger, bamboo, and lotus exude a sense of place. The Thai Pavilion offers shady respite and comfortable seating. Javanese ruins hint at centuries past. Wherever your vantage point in this cultivated garden, listen closely. The sound of babbling, bubbling water is a constant. The performance lawn features a sprawling green space, offering room to spread out a blanket and take in a concert, or for our youngest guests to play. The water garden stage offers a backdrop of palms, aquatic plants, and beyond it, the river of grass, creating a one-of-a-kind garden experience. Orchid enthusiasts will be in heaven in the Lagrip Orchid Garden. Rare and unique orchids are rotated throughout the seasons as they bloom. Look up and all around to see these orchids and their fellow epiphytes showcased in one of the largest outdoor orchid collections in North America. The award-winning Fog Cafe is always at the ready to satisfy appetites with garden-inspired cuisine. Visiting the burger shop in the garden, you'll find botanically inspired merchandise, including books, garden apparel, toys, and of course, plants. Thanks for joining us on this tour of Naples Botanical Garden. Hope to see you in the garden soon.